Well, I got to do this, people. I have been critical, as some of you know, of some TV coverage of certain wrecks in the past. But I just finished watching off and on the coverage of the start of the 24 hours of Daytona. Early on, they had a bad wreck. Fox happened, and, and this was no fault of Fox. They were on it live, and it showed live. Now, that's not a big deal, even if it's a fatal wreck, which apparently this one is not. They found out, but I think they might have showed one replay, and then they, or maybe not even that, but they realized how serious the wreck was and did not show any more replays. The wreck was so serious, this I don't think happens often in endurance racing, but they actually went red flag for an hour, although the clock still runs. Now, about 8.30 Eastern Time, about a half hour ago from when I'm actually making this, they told that both drivers, though admitted to Halifax Hospital, the hospital that as I understand is very near Daytona Speedway, are conscious, alert, and talking. Then they showed the replays, and that, that to me is a good job by Fox Sports. I have been critical in the past, even saying I even have a whole vlog up that fatal crashes should not be allowed on YouTube. I will make one exception to the rule if it is within the upload of a whole race that i understand but just to show a fatal crash to be shown a fatal crash the only thing you show one very good uploader and i believe it's an arca race has in the description warning fatal crash shown but that i can understand but just the idea what if it's a family member who's scrolling through racing videos looking for their family member and a fatal crash comes up. They don't want to see it again. I mean, I've seen the Dale Earnhardt fatal crash so many times on replays, it's not funny. And it's, it shouldn't be. But this one, I'm going to just want to say good job, Fox Sports. That's all. I'll probably finish watching, watch it off and on until the finish tomorrow.